I've got a pretty good system. Usually I put my cooler right there in between the tote and the live well. So I got my camera bag, I got my tackle, my rods, got the boat hooked up. Let's get it. So I stopped at the gas station to get some gas and one of the downsides to buying this camera with one battery is I had to put it on the charger so it can charge but I actually ordered one uh, in the mail and it should be coming at some point. So and to get in the truck, get on the water. But first, I should probably grab my drink that I just left. Way back there. Let's get it. All right. Well, the good news is I did not forget my drink. The bad news is now I can't find my keys. Okay, I got my keys, I got my wallet, I got gas in the truck and the boat. Am I going to be able to get out? Nope. I came awful close to being able to get out right there at the light. It ain't happening. Not this time anyways. On the road see you at the lake all right guys so we made it to Harris Lake I got everything that I need the water keys baits just bring those with me. and uh, and I get the boat down to the water and get rocking let's do it There's bass up shallow. All right, guys, let's do it. Oh. No 
wake zone. Oops. All right, guys. So the first thing that I want to do is I want to come up here to some of these flats and uh, work off of these points and see if maybe there are any fish kind of hanging out right here because this is where I caught one of the first ones that I caught that one day that I was out here. The water level is down a lot lower um, than it normally is as you can see by the shoreline. So what I have tied on right now is a red eyed gold lipless crankbait. And I'm just gonna toss this around and see, see what I can find. I'm really in 31 feet of water right now. So just gonna give it a test and see if there's any fish hanging out off of this point. And if there is, then uh, we're gonna stick around here for a little bit, but let's see what we can catch, guys. All right, guys, so I've tried the lipless cranks, both of them. I tried a Senko on a wobble head. Now I've got this DC giant creature bait on that wobble head. I'm seeing a lot of activity on the surface, but I just can't, can't seem to get them to bite. So we're just gonna keep on plugging away. Stay tuned guys, Harris Lake is not, uh, not an easy lake to fish. How's the fish guys? came off dang it well guys I caught one it's not a giant but a fish is a fish right little dinky dink pretty little fish At least I didn't get skunked. Right? That's a plus. <laughs> At least I didn't get skunked. I'm just trying to figure it out, guys. So this is not an easy lake to figure out, like I said. So, and there's a lot of green grass down here. We're getting into the black stuff. I thought changing the color would have been a good idea, and it was a very good idea. I saw a big ball of bait fish right below the boat, and they were pretty much the same color as the crankbait, the lipless crank that I'm throwing. So, thought it might be a good idea. So we're gonna keep on plugging away, guys. Alright guys, so I moved to a different spot. I wasn't having any luck over there. I caught one fish and that was it. So I thought maybe I would try over here by the rocks. And see if I have any more luck. Alright guys, well it has been a grind. A grind. You know what? I literally am sitting as I'm talking under a school of fish, I came up to this one spot and there were some submerged rocks. And I just cast right in between the space of the rocks. And this fish just came up and hammered the square bill. And the awesome thing is, I have never thrown this square bill in Harris and it's uh, a KVD the fish 
that I caught earlier was on this color, but it was on a lipless crankbait. Well, the problem is I lost that lipless crankbait. So I'm gonna show you what I just caught. Man, is she a beauty. The only thing that sucks, all my GoPro batteries are dead. So luckily, this one was charged. She is a beaut. Man, is she fat. Look at that. Look at the belly on that fish. Isn't she beautiful? Gosh, what a pretty fish. Look at that mouth. Oh, she's beautiful. Gosh, she's beautiful. So, I'm going to get a picture with my phone and uh, get her back in the water. It's awesome, guys. Awesome. That is why you grind. That is why <laughs> you never give up. Alright, I'm going to shut the bait camera off and, and use my phone, snap a picture, and we'll get back to it, guys. All right, guys, so we are going to let this big girl go. It's been long enough. I was hoping that I would have one to release along with it, but that didn't happen. So we're going to let the big one go. Hold still. This fish is alive and well. Alive and well. Can't even see the whole fish in the frame. Beautiful fish. Gosh, what a beautiful fish. All right. What a beautiful fish, huh? See you later, baby. Awesome. It's been a great day, guys. I'm gonna give it about 25 to 30 more minutes and then we're gonna bounce. All right, guys, so we are gonna do our breakdown for the day on the gear that I used to catch those fish. The first rod, I had a lipless crankbait tied on and I was using a 7-1 medium moderate rod. Not very heavy at all tip is extremely flexible so that I can sling that lipless crankbait out there and although I caught a fish on that Strike King lipless crankbait half ounce um, I ended up losing it so I tied on a Strike King one and a half lipless crankbait same color as the actual uh, lipless crankbait that I had tied on so this particular color was the money and this rod was the money. The last fish that I caught, that big one, I threw it right over top of some rocks. And I was just slowly cranking it back. And that fish just, boom, it came out of nowhere. And I apologize for not having that footage up. Both of my GoPro batteries were dead and I grabbed the wrong camera bag. So I could do no filming with my GoPro whatsoever. 7.5 to 1, I know it's fast. The reel is a 7.5 to 1, but I'm telling you the fish were aggressive. I like the ability to be able to slow my retrieve down or burn it extremely fast. And the majority of the lipless crankbait bites that I got this summer, in the middle of the day when there was no wind whatsoever, five foot or less water is when I caught those fish. I like to have the ability to reel it slow, but I also like the ability to burn this thing. This could have been the only rod that I needed today, and the only color bait. As you can see, this particular crankbait has been torn up. Look at the marks on that crankbait. This bait has been torn slap up, and uh, it's just been a great day. 
It's been a great day. Couldn't have asked for a better day. It's absolutely beautiful outside. It's not too hot. I could care less if it was cold. I love the cold personally. I'm so looking forward to winter time. Winter time is my favorite time to fish. No wakeboarders, no water skiers, no pleasure cruisers, the hardcore fishermen. Could be 35 degrees outside, they got a rod in their hand and they're freezing away, but it's a love and it's a passion. So I want to share my love and my passion of fishing to y'all because like I've said before many times, this is just as much your channel as it is mine. If there's anything that you would like to see me do, challenge wise, rod wise, lure wise, reel wise, line wise, it doesn't matter. I want to know your feedback and I want to have your input. Don't forget, we are 18 subscribers away from our 200 subscriber giveaway. Are you ready? I'm ready. Five Savage Gear baits are going out to five individual people. Stay tuned. You're not going to want to miss how to enter into that giveaway. So, it's just been a great day. 18 subscribers away. Can you help me get there? I hope so. we got so many awesome things planned for this channel, Freshwater Massacre. By the way, I have started my own apparel brand, Slime Donkey Apparel. I've had it out for a while. You've seen me wear the, the hoodies. I have hoodies. It's got the writing on the back. It's got the writing on the sleeve. Live long, love hard, catch fish. And then the Slime Donkey logo. If you want t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, towels, I even have, check this out. I even have those. If you want one for your car, I even have one on my boat motor. If you want logos, stickers, decals, whatever you want, shoot me a message and I'll get them made for you. This is just as much your channel as it is mine. So shoot me a message if you want t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, towels. Um, I also make these rod cannons if you've ever seen this on my truck. It, I can make it so it'll slap right on top of your roof racks. If you want one, get at me. They're not as expensive as you would think. So, I have a lot of good things going on. I love being able to bring nature to y'all wherever I am, whether it's Iowa or Illinois or Wisconsin or Nashville or New York or even here in North Carolina. I want to bring you fun fishing and just an awesome freaking time catching slime donkeys. So, thank you for watching this episode. As always, you know the deal. Live long, love hard, catch fish. Peace. One of my favorite places to come in Andrew, sunny skies. The ice cream is absolutely awesome. See the sign right there? Andrew, North Carolina. This place is the jam. Check out that delicious ice cream. What's up guys? Thank you so much for hanging out with me and going to Harris Lake. Sunny skies. As always guys, like and subscribe. 200 fresh subscriber giveaway coming up very soon. You know the deal guys. Live long. Love hard. Catch fish. Peace.